All right, how's it going, guys? Got your boy Sean once again. Uh, just finished the uh, stream. Just, uh, finished the uh, first playthrough of The Last of Us. Um, I want to take this time and just like do a uh, video about. It's more like a November address, you know. Sorry about the uh, the mic quality because I'm not using my traditional microphone as you can see right here using the uh, integrated one so probably uh, the quality is not that great it's bad with me because I only got two fast uh, USB port one of them for Wi-Fi card one of them for the capture card so I need to figure some some other stuff out uh, at the end of the stream I wanted to do the address but the uh, we got net problem again the disconnection and stuff so let's do it in the uh, video format then uh, just finished the game. I want to talk about a little bit of review about of it. It's a great game, definitely a great game. Uh, maybe, but because I played this too late, I guess. I mean, the hype of the second. I don't feel that. I couldn't feel that like shock or like what is this heart trembling like moving like it's like go along the story that type of thing I'm not just like doing this for like a very very uh, subjective but also objective view of viewpoint I feel like the story story is pretty great but I feel like this is like a mix of something I've seen before something something about the Silent Hill something about the Godfather something about the uh, Naughty Dog's previous games uh, but it's probably the first game I've ever seen like not having a great ending, right? I remember like uh, maybe uh, Naughty Dog's previous games all have like pretty good ending, right? But this one's pretty neutral. You, you cannot figure out what's going on until you probably need to play the second game. I think when they make this game, they probably have the second game in mind. So this first, so the ending of this one is like kind of confuses me, you know? But um, I predict like most part, most of the parts, right? Yeah, the the, the excuse from Joe about the fireflies, I I, I just like, oh really, Joe? <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, Joe's gonna say screw the mankind. Like, uh, what do you say? My daughter died because of this world, so I'm gonna took the uh, took my new daughter Ellie from this world, right? So the kind of stuff like that, right? I don't know the deep meaning behind this, but anyway, um. Uh, Stories like this, gameplay wise, uh, I'm kind of feel like this no like kind of not the big climax at the end, right? I just feel like it's like a smooth story into sections. Each section is like you shoot and the puzzles and shoot and stuff. I like the winter uh, section more because that one has a, like a hide and seek in the uh, in the hotel. Kind of gives me the uh, Naughty Dog old Naughty Dog vibe, right? You got the uh, Uncharted, you got the uh, Clash, the Bandicoot, right? You also got a little bit of the... Uh, what is Batman game when you fight Mr. Freeze, right? But also the uh, Metal Gear Solid, that kind of thing. I like I like hide and seek type of, of that. It's pretty fun. So that one's pretty cool. But in Spring, the last chapter, I thought it was going to be a final battle between... Maybe between Malin, you know? It's not gonna be like a too crazy of a battle. It's like Malinka material, material that type of stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like a, another hide and seek, but it's like pretty pretty difficult one. Well, the uh, the way go to the uh, I go went to the uh, uh, operation room. It's kind of difficult. That's probably because I don't have enough uh, uh, health kit with me. But we still blast through, and uh, it's all good, right? It's always like a sneak past it, path, right? It's not like one way. It's not like one way uh, solution. So I kind of like that part. Uh, but there's some part of the gameplay I kind of dislike. You know, it's like a traditional Naughty Dog problem, I guess. Some some parts like I'm not seeing glitches and stuff, but some part it seems like you can go through, but you, you instead you're not. And also like um, when you get when you get like uh, crowded by the uh, enemies, even if I press like dash through, it still does not work and stuff. Stuff. I'm not saying clickers. Clickers are annoying, but 
they're part of the game, so it's all good. Um, overall, I feel like this game's totally great, right? Uh, I don't know if I will buy the second game day one or stuff. Uh, maybe I need some time to take a look at the side chapters. Maybe I play dig a little bit more, try to play like higher difficulties of this. Uh, but I probably will not stream that extensively on uh about this game because November we have more games coming out. Uh, when I streamed this game, I was talking about oh, this game makes me want to play Phantom Pain a little bit more. But now probably we gotta put that aside, put that aside because November uh PS Plus got free games in Neo. Wow, that's a Souls game, right? We played Souls game before. Uh, Dark Souls one, three. Uh, Love born right? So we may actually give this a game, give this game a try, but I haven't, but I haven't done this for quite some time. So probably that'll be a, like a <laughs> few streams before we can get Death Stranding. Oh, we'll talk about Death Stranding now, right? Kojima Games, Ko Kojima going uh, production going independent under Sony, and probably gonna go full potential, go full blast. So, uh. I'm not quite sure what the game's about. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't understand the game. But that, but that game gives me a combination vibe of Mass Effect and the Phantom Pain. So I'm kind of interested to try it out. Probably will get the game the, the day one. Well, because I played Death Stranding, probably not going to play Phantom Pain. Uh, Catherine Full Body. Okay. Uh, still doing the last stage of the battle. Still doing the... Uh, the hard difficulty trying to get the uh, trophies. It's gotta be tough. I haven't done that for quite some time. But if you tell me to go Phantom the Trophy, I don't think I would do that because we still have Rapunzel. Rapunzel's something's like Rapunzel's too crucial, too brutal, you know. Uh, if I go if I go seek for the uh, online solutions, that would be not my achievement, right? So I kind of feel sad about it. Not 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 that happy about it, you know. I've done the game before, Platinum the Trophy on Xbox uh, 360. That's the original game. So I'm fine with that. You, but we'll see. That's my current attitude towards Catherine. All right, uh, that's for PS4. Let's talk about the uh, Switch games. I think there's one particular game we need to talk about, right? Mario Maker. Um, I haven't done user level for, for quite some time, but I want to uh instead put more focus if i want to if i were to stream uh, mario maker i'll put more focus on the uh multiplayer levels because it seems like it's pretty fun it's gotta be a lot of salty moments uh i was i will definitely gonna do uh user levels if we have the chance that's for the uh, mario maker and then the pokemon uh pokemon damn i don't even know what to do i'm probably just gonna play pokemon go don't know if i really really want to do uh Sword and Shield, you know. Uh I observe a little bit. That made my decision right. It doesn't look like it has some like pre-order bonus or some stuff right now. So let's put that aside for a while. Now we'll talk about the uh, uh iPad. We got new Love Life uh schools titles like All Stars or something. I tried the game and this surprised me for not being a legit uh Rhythm games, more like an RPG, you know, action. It's like an adventure RPG. It kind of surprised me that they go for that route, but they put more focus on the new group, right? The PDP is that the name? Not the Amuse or Aqua, even though this the PDP still hasn't got any uh, ultra ultra rare cards. It's all about the uh, old groups, so it's all so the sell point is definitely the uh, old stuff, right? But um, I'm probably just gonna go uh, farm the daily uh, bonuses and stuff, daily uh, rewards. Try to look for a moment when we have a really good event, the event card really, really want, the gacha card I really, really want. Well, actually, the Wumi card is coming out, right? Uh, probably best it will scout it for me. Uh, try, try to. <laughs> so we go for a crazy event. That's when we stream. And along with the uh, other games we have there, we got Band Dream, we got the, uh, what we have, uh, Idol Masters and stuff, right? We can make it a full stream if you want to do uh, rhythm games. But also, Gwen is on iOS as well, right? I haven't played Gwen for quite some time. Uh, the two lane system and the and the huge overhaul was the reason I, I got 
I got myself kicked out of the uh, the game. But um, maybe I play like casually. We can understand a little bit more about uh, why this game is still niche. You know, still has a good community, a good uh, follow up. Okay, let's talk about the uh, magic. I just heard there's a Theros leak, right? I posted on, on Facebook. I love those basic lands. Uh, but about this leak, I have no judgment. I have no... Uh, I don't know what to say. It seems, like, it seems like it's intentional, but probably not. Something got... Uh, some information got stolen or got leaked and stuff. Uh, no, no proof. No, only speculation, no judgment. Sorry. Anyway, uh, MTG Arena. Yeah. You guys know that I haven't played Arena on stream for quite some time, right? Uh, that's actually because that was one time I talked about it, right? That's one time I, I was playing or streaming. I don't quite remember. I was still playing the uh, draft. The, by the way, the draft uh, stat status in Arena for El Drain is so boring. Uh, I, f I feel kind of happy that all my high wing uh, finish, none of them, none of them are about milling. <laughs> it's all about like, uh, it's more about food, right? It's pretty fun. That one's pretty fun. There's some Celestia part that is pretty fun. Not, none of them about the uh, Secret Keeper. Uh, there's somebody actually pull, tried to put up on me on local game store, uh, Friday Night Magic. That was like crazy. It like affected so many people about how they play the uh, our dream draft. Anyway, uh, I was playing the uh, draft and I got disconnected twice when I was in two games. Similarly, I tried to, uh, one game I was ahead, one game I was behind, but I was about to turn it around. So I games and it gave me really bad taste. So I was like, okay. I'm just gonna stop this game like for, for some time. I'm gonna continue playing the daily quest, but that's probably gonna be like a casual rank draft, uh, rank games constructed or some stuff. Don't wanna, uh, what do you call that, devote too much into that. Uh, but I also still wanna play some uh, limited. So that's why I went to MTGO. Well, surprisingly, there's some uh, free player, uh, new player free events and stuff i had some fun i'm trying to get myself familiar with the uh what do you call this user interface of mtgo surprisingly enough after you played arena you go to mtgo it's not that complicated anymore especially if you play paper magic you know the drill right all the things you wanted you you can do in paper but you cannot do in arena it's all possible in MTGO, so I kind of like the client more and more. There's just one part that makes me uh, kind of hesitate about uh, whether I should go for MTGO is the price. That's actually pretty expensive, you know. Uh, I mean, the friendly seal is okay. It's probably like 30 Australian dollars, but the draft is cost too much. Much, much more than a, uh, paper, ma a paper magic logo draft, you know. And the... Uh, Digital cards on MTGO does not have the same value as the uh, paper card, so that kind of get me uh, kind of away of the game. But we'll see. Uh, but we'll see if I want to go for that uh, friendly league. Want to play some uh, seal games? Also, I'm waiting for my copies of the uh, remaining cards I haven't got from TCG to arrive. Then we can build. We can actually. I can actually build a uh, Eldrain. Uh, what do you call that? Q, you know, 540 cards. Uh, try to balance it a little bit. And then me and Bessie can actually practice and play against each other. Like, daily, right? Definitely daily. If, if the network is great, we can we can even stream. We'll upload some videos about it. Um, I'm also waiting for the uh, inside that package. Also, some cards I'm going to bring to the uh, Magic Fest Brisbane. I'm gonna let the artist sign those cards for me. That's some pretty high value cards. I can't, I can't wait to get that. Uh, speaking of the uh, Brisbane, uh, I will be um, I will be going with three other friends of mine at my local game store. We're gonna 
from a expedition uh, expedition bicycle expedition team right go to brisbane uh we already uh booked their hotel it's gotta be like um like almost a week you know there spend a week there and uh two of them will play the main event which will be a standard play well I, i'm i'm bored with standard i don't even play standard i'm bored so <laughs> i probably will go for the limited the other one will play commander more i guess so only i will be playing the uh side events and the uh hopefully i will get myself into a uh and another mcq on Sunday, which will be a sealed format. So I want to practice the sealed, which probably I will do it on MTGO because on MTGA there will be no sealed anymore. So that will be, I think that will be all for the, uh, uh, what do you call this? Address, November address. So what, what will you expect to see me, uh, um, so for the first few days, I probably will uh, play some combination of Neo or Mario Maker until Death Stranding comes out. Then we'll probably we'll take a look at that. If I like the game, I'm gonna, gonna keep playing it. I kind of like okay, well I can do this off stream. We will play a little bit of the other stuff, you know. If if Band Dream, uh, if Band Dream or uh, School and Love Life All Stars have great events, we will stream that. If not, we'll go back to play Neo or Mario Maker or even some magic you know uh post some videos about the uh you know all right guys uh that will be it for this twitch address for november i know we haven't it's uh still the last day of october speaking of like halloween right i don't know why sh how i should c celebrate this <laughs> i don't know like we i don't have that uh i'm not quite mindset like idea concept yeah concept how Halloween should be spent, you know. <laughs> Maybe I'll go outside and see a lot of ghosts. Uh, guessing people. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next stream. Take care, everyone. And uh, have a great one.